All right, this is going to sound a bit way, uh, vague, but I'm going to go with harmonization because uh, whereas it's almost clear what human rights means to different uh, countries, different governments, different organizations, we're quite on equal grounds on that. It's still hard to actually put in place because our legislations are very different uh, and our technologies are very different. So actually it does need harmonization. I'm not saying we need to force everyone to use the same technology. That's not a good idea. Or force every, every, every law to be the same in every country. But it's, it's not at, at the moment possible to uh, truly sort of get any sort of these values and mechanisms widespread because different countries have so different playing rules. Again, in, well, information, because also we, uh, well, everyone uses the internet, that's a clear thing, and in the past 10 years I've seen a great increase in interest and knowledge on internet governance, but still the problem is that people think politics is boring or doesn't consider me, and that, that's, that, that, that's a problem in attitude, but it's also a problem in ignorance. So people should, again, learn more, and for somehow we need to facilitate learning what the whole internet governance is about. And getting to these goals will be hard if people are not gonna even know we're working on it. As a teacher myself, I would have to go with schooling. <laughs> It's not, not taken for granted, but there are definitely places where we actually teach more about also the social side of the internet. Uh, but it's, it's taken way too much for granted at the moment. Uh, and like everyday situations where I have to teach people uh, legislative perspectives or technological perspectives or social perspectives, because again, uh, people take things for granted. So uh, I'm gonna have to say we should actually do more work in schools to make sure that the more future generations will be more knowledgeable about this. That is a very interesting suggestion. I'm usually opposed to uh, changes that are supposed to be made just to, well, of course you can clarify things, but I don't think it needs a separate mention because Every, uh, but it does need uh, acknowledgement that things we thought about decades ago uh, are also relevant in modern situations. If, uh, because, for example, if I talk about personal privacy and your right to your right so that no one is, um, for example, um, spying on your communications, the first thought that comes to mind is like someone is physically eavesdropping on you or has a hidden microphone somewhere. But actually what we can also mean is that no one is reading your emails. And it, it's the same thing fundamentally. So the, the um, idea of what the fundamental rights are, it's still valid, but we need to update our mindset that those should also be valid in a digital environment. So it could be a nice clarification, but it doesn't need much more new ideas in there, but maybe some wording updates.